Good morning. I wanted to encourage you today because um, sometimes we have questions like, God, what is the ministry you've given me? How do I do that? You know? So if you look at 2 Corinthians 5, 18, it says, Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. So, our ministry should always be to the reconciling people to God the Father through Jesus Christ, even as he reconciled us. Amen. How do you do that? Now, Jesus said in Mark 16, these signs will follow them that believe. You know, you will lay hands on the sick, you will cast out demons, you lay hands on the sick, they will recover, raise the dead, speak with new tongues. Some people say that ceased. The only thing that I see there is it follows them that believe. So if you don't believe, then obviously they're not going to follow you. Amen. So if you're not seeing these signs, ask God, you know, repent first of all of your unbelief and then just ask God, you know, show. but I want to encourage you today not to make your ministry about trying to down other people. Um, Remember, our ministry is one of reconciliation, reconciling people to God the Father. And the only way we can do that is through Jesus Christ, is through the Holy Spirit, right? And so today, I want to encourage you that we all have the same ministry. No matter how that looks, you know, you may do it different than someone else. Um, but the reality of it is, our ministry is the ministry of reconciliation. It's never a ministry of condemnation. It's never a ministry of trying to point out other people's faults. I uh, just read in Matthew 7 how he says, you know, remove the log from your eye so that you can remove the speck from your brother's eye. So it's never so that I can judge you. Everything is to be done in love, right? Now, obviously, we don't agree with sin. You know, we're called to be dead to sin, but some people um, may not have the same revelation that you have and vice versa. And so we always have to do things seasoned with salt. As it says, let your words be seasoned with salt that you can impart grace to the hearers. So we're saved by grace through faith. As you impart grace, it gives them faith and they can be saved, right? Um, and so I just want to encourage you Go out and share Jesus. Share his love. Remember, it's the kindness of God. Romans 2, 4. That leads men to repentance. Amen. So I hope this encourages you to know that your ministry is a ministry of reconciliation. And that means you're bringing people back to the Father. You're showing them that through Jesus they can have fellowship with God the Father. And as Jesus said, if they reject you, they reject me. And if they reject him, they reject the one who sent him. Amen. So be encouraged. They're not rejecting you. They reject God. But still go out.